Dave Brown of Grand Bee Company. Today we're going to be painting bee boxes and seeing where this honey comes yeah. from. Check out that white one, which is whitey. You see this brown one? I, the brown one? That one? That's brown honey. Okay, now we have to be careful. Because we have to go one at a time. I'll go there next. Look. Go ahead. Oh, door. Don't want to open it. You gotta get in real fast, Marty, so the chickens don't get out, okay? Why don't you pet it a little bit more, Marnes? Now, if you're scared of them, you're going to be on. Now, to put it in here, it's not surrounding them. They're surrounding you? Yeah. This cracks me up. Well, this is how I'm going to go. See, last time, it was very much that white chili. He's like, I was eating. Wow. I want to show you something if you're brave enough. Because I'm kind of been doing this and I'm just kind of like a YouTuber. So I sit down over here and watch yeah, it like right. you do. Put them on my arms. Like it? Uh, I see the chicken? Their eyes are You're going to get that chicken. You're going to be gentle? Good. Good. <laughs> So soft. So <laughs> soft, yeah. <laughs> Does he talk? Sometimes. <laughs> Everybody's stuck. You don't? You want to learn about it? Okay. So this is this is to protect your face, Marty. And if you want more protection, this is all called be jacket. Yeah, it covers all your arms and your belly. Definitely small for that. Yeah, you are. You look better on it. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think that does, Marty? So this is a baffle and we put uh, wood in here and it causes the smoke. This pushes the smoke out. You can push it into the hive. What that does is that tells the bees that the woods are on fire. Grab all the honey you can. So they focus on getting the honey and not bothering the beekeeper. So it keeps them calm while you're, while you're going through a beehive.
this. Well, I can tell you a little bit about them if you want to learn about them. And this is the beehive lid. This is a propolis trap. So bees make something called propolis. It's a bee glue. And uh, this trap makes them want to co cover up these holes with that glue. And this is propolis. So it's real sticky like uh, like duct tape glue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. It's got, uh, it's got a lot of antibacterial, antiseptic uh, properties to it. Uh, so it's real medicinal and, it, and it's good for you. So I, I take a little piece of chew on it while I'm working the hives. Nice. When you move, you want to move slow and deliberate. That's why I don't have a, I don't have any gear on. And the way I can do that is I move slow and with a purpose. You know, a lot of okay. a lot of guys they have that in the suit. They hide behind it. They can hurt the bees because they're a little bit more forceful than they need to be. You know. So that is nectar straight from the, the, the forage. So from the flower sources and what's blooming right now in the fall. And this is a hive tool. It's sharp. You can use it to clean up frames, use it to pry, to get in, move boxes and move frames. Really important tool. See, these uh, holes are just big enough for the worker bees. So a drone, which is a boy bee, can't make it through there because he's too big. And the queen, of course, can't make it through there. So she can't, uh, she can't lay eggs in the honey. So this is the baby box. This is where the queen lays 1,500 to 2,000 uh, eggs a day, per day. Uh, the bees will live six weeks, uh, typically. Take out the first frame. This will give us room to move other frames. They're being real gentle to us today, so I think we, despite the rain and the, and the day, we really got fortunate here. Okay, you see that fuzzy one? It's a little baby thing. That drone is a boy. All he does is consume resources and looks for a queen to make with. So uh, he doesn't have much purpose in the hive. At the end of the year, they'll kick him out. They'll actually boot all the boys out because they don't want to spend any resources on them over the Oh, way. wow. See that? You can't even see the frame. That one's got the pollen sack on it. See it? She came in from a flower, grabbed some pollen, she's trying to find a spot to put it. We'll go through some more. See right, right here? Yeah. That one's hatching out. Where's the queen? Right there. See how she got the long abdomen there? That's her highness. got attendants, they all are looking after her. I want to say she's fairly young because she's small. Hello, 
So the shapes that you guys put on these boxes mm -hmm. and the colors yeah. tell the bees that that's their home when they're coming back from their foraging flights. How cool is that? Isn't that neat? It's like a beacon that says, oh, this is my home. But what we do is we put it in that uh, that centrifuge. It spins it out. We put it in another bucket, and then we use this filter here. And that filter catches a lot of that fine okay. wax and stuff. Yeah, you can go ahead and move up in the bucket. Let her rip. Chicken out. Uh, 